Hello, what's up dudes, Captain Man here, and today I'm going to show you how to make a Minecraft bucket 24 slash 7 Minecraft server on free, on Mac for free. Um, so yeah, the first thing that you need to do is go to the first link in the description below, and which is dl.bucket.org, and then once you're at the link, um, download the beta build, which is 1.7.9 currently, and excuse this, once you've downloaded it, drag it to your desktop, which I'm going to do right now, and then create a new folder called whatever you want I'm gonna make it I'm gonna call it um, MC server so once you've done that drag craftbucket.jar into your MC server folder I should slow down a bit because you guys won't be as fast as me um well you could be um depends um so yeah once you've done that take away all this stuff so you, then you'll be left with craftbucket.jar and then you'd want to go to the second link in the description which is setting up a Minecraft, setting up a server bucket wiki and then okay I'll go all the way to the top and you should come to a page like this and then click on Mac OS X then you'll be, you'll come to here and then open up text edit um, if you don't know where it is just in spotlight type in text edit and it should come up click on it and this will open up and then you would want to copy and paste this so it's Control C, Command C, I mean, or you can do right click and then copy, which is also another way, and then Control V or Control pa right click and paste, and then yeah, once you've done that, um, you'll be you'll have this, and then you'd want to see how much RAM you have, which is right here. So this will um to see how much RAM your computer has, click on the Apple icon in the Apple icon in the top left corner, which is right there, and then click on about this Mac. And then there's the RAM right now. So it's a four gigabit, four gigabyte RAM. Sorry for um, I'm mumbling a lot. I'm glad, I'm sorry for that, guys. Um, so I'm gonna upgrade this soon and maybe to twenty gigabytes. Yeah. Um, so you'd want to try and get half of that. You'd want to use half of that on your server. Any more or any less will be pretty bad. Um, it won't run absolutely per perfectly. So I'm gonna gonna give it two thousand and twenty four megabytes. Um, if that's right, two thousand um and twenty four m, and that's what I should say. I'm not if I'm I'm true. And then you want to um go to format, and then click on make plain text. Okay, and once that's done, save it as a start dot command. Right there, start dot command. Um, save it to your desktop, and then press save. Then there it is, and then drag it into your MC server folder. Open it up. I'm gonna make these some colors so they're easy to um, identify later. And then I'll, I'll get rid of this. And then now the next thing that we need to do is open up terminal. So go to your spotlight up here, and then type in T E R, and it should come up. So it's terminal. It's like this little window. And then once you've done that, you'd want to type in C H mod. C H M O D space A plus X space, and then drag in your start dot command. Whoops, there we go. Drag it in and then press enter. And once you've done that, close terminal, then come back to the folder menu and then click on start dot command. So it'll just be loading some libraries um, so that you can get the normal files for your server. It wouldn't take too long. So using start or command is how you would usually run your server, and it shouldn't take too long. It's preparing spawn area and everything, and that's your seed if you want to use it, or you can change it as well uh, by going to server properties, and you can change other stuff as well, like what game mode it should be and everything else like that. And then once you've done it, sorry, excuse that, please. Then you would want to type in stop. Stop. So the server should stop slowly, slowly. Okay, once it's stopped, come on, Nick, stop calling me. Okay, um, so once you've done that, close terminal, and all these files should have generated. So this is a plugin thing, plugin folder. You can put, um, there's a third link in the description below, which will take you to plugins. Plugins are basically mods for your server. What's that in the top corner? Oh, I already downloaded it. Well, never mind. We've already done that. So yeah. The plugins will be an easier way. I would really suggest you get some plugins if you want to make a successful server. 
you can op yourself by using that. You can, okay. So the f next, I should tell you um how you can make it twenty four seven. You can make it twenty four seven by getting going to sy system preferences. Shouldn't take too long, and then go to um what was it? Oh, what was it? Um, then you go to energy saver, and then you would want to make your computer sleep to never and your display sleep to one minute. So basically what this does is your computer will never go to sleep. Well, that's kind of bad. Depends. If you have a good fan, that's really good. If you don't, then too bad for you. Um, display sleep should be one minute. So your screen will go black after one minute. And so basically your computer's still running, but there's nothing on the screen. So it saves energy, but... I would say it's good, but after a month, you should, like, refresh your server or something and, like, turn off your computer for once and then just leave it off for, like, one hour or some. if you guys want to. I'm just saying it's good for your computer, like, otherwise it will overheat and maybe explode. Okay, so once you've done that, so this will make it 24-7. So you don't go to that and don't put it to sleep. Just leave it as it is and it should work. Next thing that you want to do is go to Safari and... Okay, and then type in port map, P-O-R-T, whoops, spelt that wrong, P-O, whoops, P-O-R-T, map, type it into um, Google, and this should come up, and then go to the first link, I'll also put the link in the description, guys, so, and then come down here, download the application, and then it should load, open it up, I'll hide my IP for um IP because you should also hide your IP from other people because it's an this is an easy way um of for your server to get hacked. So if I showed this IP to you um you um I might get hacked and don't don't um the IP that you want to use is this right here. This is the IP that you want to use and not the other two IPs. So if you shut down your computer, the IP is going to change and I'll I'll teach you a way how you can fix that too. So but to make the IP start working, you want to click on this plus sign right here, and then type in 25565, and then just make a description, whatever you want, I'll make it Aussie Craft, and then it should just, it's unmapped, wait for a second, and then there, there's the public port, once you've done that, close this, and then go to a thing called noip.com, I think, I'm not sure, it's like no IP, so yeah, it's this one right here, Open it up. You gotta sign in, and then it will just take you to all these places. Um, I haven't signed in right now. I forgot what my thing was. I forgot what my account was. Never mind. Um, if you wanna sign up and explore this, um, you you can get your you can change your IP to like your server name and then dot zepto dot com and there's all these different things. Um, so yeah, explore no IP if you wanna get a different IP from the one right here. So yeah guys, this will give you a 24 slash 7 Minecraft server for absolutely free. So now I'll show you guys that this works. So I will start the command. While I do that, I'm going to open Minecraft. Please wait. Come on, load. Okay. Now let's see what happens. Okay, there we go. And click play. Oh, I'll also start doing my um mod showcases. Tell me if you guys want that. I want to start doing those as well. Oh, I'll show you it on. Oh yeah, multiplayer. Add server. Um, add the IP that you have right here. I'm gonna copy it. Or add the one that you get from um what's it called? Whoops. Um, the one that from noip.com. So once this is done, open it up. And the loading, loading, and logging in, and there we go. You've got your own world and a server. So now you can go to your terminal and op yourself by doing op, then your name. Oh, whoops! I think we're opt. Not sure. Game mode one. Yep, we're op now. So do whatever you want. Have fun, and yeah. See you later, and see you next time. Captain out. Please, can we get two likes? Thank you. Bye-bye, Captain.